Just wanna say thank you to the Lego Group for sponsoring this video, it really means a lot. Let's get right into this thing. In today's video, it's simple. I'm going to be playing a complete nine hole beat my record, but with a twist. Every single time I get on the green, I have to use this fully customized Lego brick putter. Now you may think it's easy, but it's not. This thing was beautifully designed by Michelle Brooks, the custom designer for this build, and it's absolutely amazing. It's so much fun to play with. I literally love Lego, and I cannot believe that I've been able to partner with them on this beautiful, beautiful journey. So stay tuned, you guys. Let's see if I can drain some putts or if I'm going home with my head hanging. So I was asked to build a Lego putter, and I am so excited. I can't wait to get started. <laughs> This should be good. All right, well, you guys got the whole intro pretty much. I did a little voiceover intro, you guys got it. There's nothing different except for when I get on the putting green. So I could be on for eagle and I could make triple. I could be on for birdie and make birdie. So you never quite know. I've never played it here at West Ridge. This course, I mean, it looks really, really good right now for Texas being super, super hot. Um, and I'm excited to play a new course, share it with you guys, see how it goes. Let's get after it. All right, hole one, 550 yard par five. I think I'm just gonna aim over these humps here, Nate. Or go straight over the bunker. Yes, that's the kick. All right. Well, for my first tee shot, now knowing where I go, I think that's actually pretty solid. It's pretty long, long, pretty long par five. I should be able to get there in two though. 330, that's not right. 260. <laughs> I was about to say, I ain't no 200 yard drive. Okay, I got a very generous kick off this hill. I'm in the fairway. It's 260. I've warmed up a little bit, but oh, I don't know about getting there. Nathaniel, little foreign, talk me into it. <laughs> if, I, if I do catch it right, if I catch it perfect, a little draw, it should be able to get there, but I'm just more worried about making good contact because I want to get this ball close to the green, close to the hole. Because if I'm just on the green 50 feet, I'm working with a triple. Holy frick, that was crushed. I think you got it there. I think I might've got it there. 264 iron, I mean, whoo, come on baby. That is outrageously, uh, outrageously small. Holy crap, all right, well, let's find it. Okay, all right, this is when this is when things get interesting, Nathan. I gotta put this close. There's obviously the Lego putter. I just told him, Nathan, what, does my, what has my life come to that I have to putt with a Lego putter and a Lego golf ball? What is my life? <laughs> okay. Not bring the right club. See, if I would have known I was well short, I would have grabbed a little 50 degree, ran it, but that's okay. Time to see how we putt with the Lego putter. What is this? Dude. Oh, this is gonna be terrible. Ooh. Dude, one, does it like react? Oh, <gasps> dude! <laughs> dude. Okay, okay. We might be working with something here, brother. We might be working with something. This is for Birdie. Oh my gosh. It, wait a second. That was so good. I thought that since it has the little bumps on it that it was gonna kinda like bump all over the green, but I hate to admit that that may be better than my normal putter. <laughs> okay, this is for par. Come on, Matt, for par. No, it's on the, oh. 
Okay, hey, you know what? <laughs> that makes such a cool noise. A little bogey on the first is nothing that I'm gonna be upset about. No one, I mean, that's the first time I've putt on real grass with this thing, and I gotta say, it reacts really, really well. I mean, look at the grooves. The grooves, in, there's literally grooves on this putter. Everything is made out of Lego. Let's go shoot low, baby, come on. Hole number two, 425 yard par four. Um, it's playing like 7,000 from the tips. We're playing one up and it's still like 67 or 6,800 yards. So it's, uh, and there's a little bit of wind. So it's gonna be a little bit of a longer course, but there is also three par threes on the front nine and three par threes on the back for a total of six par threes, which is very interesting for a golf course. I just gotta keep hitting good drives, get on the get on the putting green. That's that's where I'm gonna that's where I'm either gonna win or lose. So let's do it. All right, just over that bunker. That was mushed. Oh my gosh. It's not gonna hit the green, but. Dude, I'm figuring something. I think I'm figuring something out with my driver. You guys, I've seen lots of Reddit comments about Matt's game is struggling, and it's only struggling because I'm just get, trying to get used to these clubs. The weights are different. It's literally a completely different setup. All the shafts are like 10 times heavier than what I've had, so it's it's coming together, all right? It's kind of a tough distance for me because it's it's a little bit into the wind. I know it's I know it's 54, but is the wind heavy enough? Am I going to hit it too high and it's only going to go 97 yards and it's going to freaking be well short of the green? Or can I hit this 105 and get this there? That's that's my. Uh. Hi, right, we're putting. It's gonna be a long putt with a Lego ball, but we've got a birdie putt. <laughs> I still can't believe my life has come to this. I mean, it's, I mean, Michelle, her name is Michelle Brooks. You guys can go check her out. She was my Lego master builder on this project. Um, and I don't know how she did it, but like, like it's got, obviously it's got lots of wind, but it's like, it's very durable. It doesn't really break, which makes, which is very interesting how she constructed this. Everything's built out of Legos. These are tires. She just did a wonderful job. Let's go make birdie for her. Let's do it for Michelle. Ball switch. Tap down this little thing here. That didn't do anything. Oh, I kind of topped it. <sighs> That's not good, I topped that one. Okay, okay, we're fine. I think, I'm trying to figure out if I like, if I do the hockey technique, see how that's more, mm -hmm. the shaft doesn't move as much on that. I think I like that. Yeah, see, see, I like that a lot. Nathan, okay? I like that a lot. Sometimes, you know, you gotta work with what you got. We're only one over par. That's actually crazy. Lots of par threes out here, so that's that's where the strokes will be lost, because if I'm 30 yards away from the hole, but I'm still in the green, <laughs> it's gonna be a fun putt. All right, par on the last hole. This is when I need to hit a really good shot. 145, comfortable nine iron for him. Yes, that's actually good, because we're off the green. Yes, okay. You guys are probably thinking, Matt, you want to be in the hole. Well, you're right, okay? But off the green in this challenge is good, because now I can chip, get it really close, make another par. Okay, all right, I like that. I like where we're at. We're not on the green, so I could technically putt it, but I also don't want to cheat myself, so I'm going to use a little wedge. Oh, wow, it's dead straight. Dang, why is that so fast? This is it, Nathan, we can make this. Oh my gosh. Come on, are you kidding me? That was outside right the entire time. But when you use the perfectly designed Lego golf ball, sometimes you get that extra kick. It literally was right here the entire time and it just said, man, that's perfect. Dude, we're literally one over. We're one over par. This is a better round. This is a better round than my normal golf clubs. And that's saying something. This hole is only like 330 yards. I'm just gonna hit a little smooth five iron, get something out and play. I don't want to jeopardize this round at all. So 
All right, I'm only one over. And that was perfect except way right. Right before the car path? I think it's just before the car path. I mean, I hit that great. That's okay. I wanted to be on that right side. We've got a, we've got a much better angle into this green. Come on, let's make a birdie with this Lego ball. Come on. 121. 121. 121. Mm, I think that's a little 50 degree for me. I'm gonna keep it up. Looks like this green kind of shelves like this a little bit. So if I keep it out on that right side, wind's kind of pushing right to left as well, so. Come on, Matt. Be really good. Could be really solid. Or it could be really long. Did that just go over the green? 121 with a 50 degree. Noted. Okay, well, I'm well long here. I gotta put this one up there. I gotta make another par. Who? Yeah. What is it? No. Grant. Grant, is Grant five foot four? <laughs> Where are these kids, bro? Grant. Grant. Did Grant shoot a hole? I, I didn't know Grant was five foot one and made two hole in ones. It's actually a really solid shot from back there. I'm not gonna lie. It looked kind of deceiving from where I was where I was standing. All right, this breaks a little bit to my right here, Nathan. See how it cuts, see how it, it literally, it plays the break so much better than a normal golf ball. Okay, well Nathan, you're gonna cut that out and I made bogey, didn't I, Nathan? Sure. Didn't I make a good bogey, Nathan? <laughs> all right, we're gonna give that one to myself, all right? That's a solid bogey. I mean, this Lego putter, what I've noticed is with, with the ball especially is when, when I hit it and I know it's breaking from left to right like I did there, it like, it like curves pretty hard. I'm two over par. Come on. Dude, it's a uh, it's toasty one out here. I'm not going to lie to you. I got the drone up on this one, so you guys are going to see it from the back side. Let's just hope I hit a good shot. I think I may be putt. I don't know. We'll have to go see when we get up there. But I think that was a good shot. I hit a really solid shot there. I don't think the drone picked it up because guess what? Didn't press record because that's just how smart I am. We got a birdie putt here. Let's make it. Gosh, I scuffed it on the ground again. It's tough, dude, because this putter's super light and obviously putters are supposed to be a little heavier, so. <laughs> okay, I can make this par. I mean, it's really good. I'm not gonna lie. That's another bogey. It's three over. We're not treading in the right direction. Although I'm honestly not too upset because I've had two pars. I am looking for a birdie though. I think that would be, that would kind of tie this day together. You know what I'm saying? Nine holes, you guys. I don't know if I said that already, but so it's gonna be a testament because if I do better than what I do with my normal clubs, I'm gonna have a conversation with myself about my life choices in golf. All right, here we go. A little par five. Yeah. We'll find it, we'll play it. Brick. Dude, that slice comes back every now and then. It peaks up, creeps up on me a little bit. Need like a little nine iron. Get it out, just get it back out in the fairway. I don't think I need to try to do anything crazy. I just put it back out there and play. That's perfect. That's perfect. 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 Right. You know, you get you hit a you hit a bad shot. 
you can always come back and you can always try to find some sort of way to get yourself back in the game. I could have done some sort of five iron crazy shot there and been out of bounds, been in a worse position. So I like where I'm at. Stay! See how heavy that crosswind is? It just, it just took my ball and it just, I gotta, I gotta put this, I gotta put this up and down because I, it's a par five and I'm not even on the green punt for birdie yet. So it's a little sad. shot Nathan that's the shot that's the victory I need for the wobble squabble all right come on <sighs> how do you lip out <laughs> wait let me see if I can pick this up <laughs> all right I'll give myself that I'll give myself that bogey pot that's fine Dang it, that was tough. Making a bogey on a very short par five is only like 520. That's pretty sad for me, but. Oh, good shot. Oh my goodness. I prefer my shot. Woo! Good shot, baby. Nice shot. Come on. Okay, nobody saw it, right? No. Nobody saw that. They saw a little tap in par. That's what I saw. All right, well, we're here on hole number eight. Just made another unfortunate. No, that was a par. We made a par. That's right. We made a par, didn't we, Nathan? We did. We did. <clears throat> I think we've made four bogeys. Bogey one, par second. I think we're either four or five over. Nathan will know when once he's editing this video, he'll be able to tell us and let us know at this point. But I, I am still, I don't care about bogey, how many bogeys and pars I make. I'm trying to make a birdie with this putter. It's, it is very tough. Uh, the only way it's gonna happen is if I put one really close on my second shot. Um, that's just the only way, or if I chip in. So shout out Westridge. Just, this course is pretty nice. I've never, again, I've never played here before. It's been super hot out in Texas, so I'm surprised things are still green. They've done a great job keeping the course in shape here, so. Or 90 there. All right, that was pretty solid. I think I'm gonna be in a good position to make birdie. Holy crap. This, okay. 400 yard drive. Hold on a second. It's 82 yards to the pin. This hole is 484 yards from the blues. We played one up from the tips, which is, the tips were even, I don't know how far the tips, or no, 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 this was, no, 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 this was 459 from here, right? Hold no, on this, that was 484 of blue. This, this, that, like, there's no way. 484 from the blues. 489 from the tips. That, so, so if my math is correct, right? Little beep, bop, boop, boop, boop. This is over a 400 yard drive by a couple yards. It's like 401 yards. That, that, that can't be right. There's no way that's right. Holy frick. This is the furthest drive. One of the furthest drives I've probably ever hit in my life. If not the furthest. There was oh nothing different I did. There was like, it's not like I was trying to hit like some massive power swing. What the, dude, Nathan, this is actually insane. All right, anyway, 82 yards. This is a great advantage for me to try to make birdie. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> All right, enough of, the, enough of that, I guess. <sighs> Let's make it. Let's make it. Oh my. Dude, I almost made that. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my Lego God. Lego birdie. Dude, Lego birdie. I just, this has been the best hole. I just, I love this hole. Shout out Westridge, baby. All right. I mean, I'm going to putt this with my real putter too because I want to make birdie, but let's see if we can make it with the Lego. you gosh that was in the center ah I'm gonna tap it with, I'm gonna make it with my real one don't worry yes 
I wanted to make sure I could make an actual birdie. That's good. But par with the Lego is also very good. If I can play this hole like I just played the par four, a 400 yard drive, it's 585. Should put me about 180, 185 yards away from the pin here. Holy shoot, this is 620 from the tips. And we're not really that far behind the tips. Good thing this is downwind. Jeez, that's another 400. Maybe. Holy frick, dude. When I, I'm, I'm pausing, I'm pausing like a little bit at the top. That's what I'm doing. Like a small Hideki. Come on, baby. Whew, this one is only 340. Only 340, okay. We have 240 yards still to this pin. I was talking to my caddy and he said that five iron seems to be a pretty solid number. Four iron is just, it's a little bit too much for me. You know, if I catch it clean, it can go anywhere from 250 to 260 yards. So I, I think five iron is my best bet. We'll draw off the right. It's a little chunky. See, that was a little chunky. A little, a little underneath. My divot's a little left. Just a little left of the pin. Hey, I like my slow, I like that slowness that I'm doing. Like there's just, it's like, you know, I'm getting in the slot. I like that. Okay, I made the mistake last time of using 58 from here. So I like a little 54 in the door, a little runny, a little zinc zinc. We can make that for birdie. Come on. That's called learning from your mistakes in your round. All right, I've been using 58 from around the green. Switch to 54, I got a foot. First birdie of the day. <laughs> yes! Woo! Dude, that's freaking huge for me. Oh, yes. I think we still shot, I think like four over or something, but. All right, that is gonna wrap up the video. I, again, I'm not quite sure what I shot there. I think it was either four over, five over. Uh, that's kind of what I'm, what I'm looking at there, but a great birdie to end it. It felt really, really good. Again, a huge shout out to Westridge for having me out here and playing. Really, really beautiful course. Um, and also a huge shout out to Lego. Okay, I'm obviously, most of you guys know I'm partnered with Lego and I partnered with Lego on this specific video. They made me a Lego brick putter. Um, a huge shout out to Michelle Brooks. She was the master builder on this and she put together something that was absolutely insane. Uh, and I'm so glad that I got to be a part of this. Um, it's been a dream for me to be partnered with Lego ever since I was little. I've been playing with Legos pretty much all my life. So to be partnered with Lego on this, and create something super, super special. Um, again, I've never seen anybody play with a, a Lego brick putter like this. Um, and again, thank you, Michelle. You did an amazing job creating this. Um, I do want to let you guys know that the Lego putter, the Lego brick putter is not for sale. You cannot buy it. Um, this was something that was done, you know, specifically for me, uh, built and designed. So just want to let you guys know that before you go searching on, on Lego and seeing if you can buy one. It was a lot of fun. Thanks, Nathan, for coming out. Um, he's been helping me uh, film and he's been doing a wonderful job. So big shout out to him. His, uh, his links will be in the description. You guys can go check him out. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Seriously. I don't know what's to come, but we're going to the UK very soon with Good Good and it's going to be a lot of fun. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Love you. We're on the road to 250,000 subscribers. Let's hit that thing. Let's get there. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Again, just want to say thank you so much to the Lego group for sponsoring this video. It really means a lot. This video was so much fun to film. I'm excited I got to share all this beautifulness with you guys. Yeah, yeah.